going through a holiday function, take this recipe with you. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let me show you what we're working with. So let me go ahead and show you the ingredients. I'm using some cabbage top topping noodles. I've already cooked them so that way I can save time in the video. This cheese here is just cheese that I, um, I'm going to put on top of the mac and cheese before I put it in the oven. And you can make it what, you can use whichever cheese you want. Um, you can use the cheese that's in my video. I just use Gruyere, uh, the sharp cheddar, the pepper jack, and the white cheddar. And this is the cheese that I'm going to make the cheese sauce with. And we're, yes, I know this bowl is really big, right? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put these noodles in this bowl um, once we make the cheese sauce and then put the cheese sauce over the noodles so that way that every noodle is full of cheese sauce. And then I got my flour measured out for my roux, my butter, my seasons already pre-measured, um, bacon for the toppings, you're gonna need some Worcestershire and some hot sauce for the sauce. And then pre-measured out milk and cream. So let's go ahead and make this uh, awesome, awesome mac and cheese. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter and put it in the pot and let it melt. Then, once it melts, then we're gonna add the flour to make the roux. All right, so we got the butter melted down. Now let's go ahead and add the flour to the roux. And we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and add the seasonings with it. Get all those seasonings out. We want this, we want this mac and cheese flavorful. So we're gonna just stir this and cook this, this roux until it's like a, a light brown color. Now we're not making a gumbo roux, so we're only gonna do this for a few minutes and until it's the, the color that you like. I mean, really, it's really quick. It's pr pretty much like a minute, two minutes at the most. All right, so this is the color I like, and we'll give you a close up so you can see. It's the color I like now. Let's go ahead and add the milk and cream and bring it to a bowl. Once you add the milk and the cream in there, go ahead and keep stirring it. You want to make sure that it incorporates in there. And then we're going to bring it to a bowl and then we'll lower the temperature. And then I'll show you how I like to add the cheese into my sauce. I forgot to mention that also whenever I add the cream, I'm going to add some hot sauce. So I put the measurement in the description of the video, but I just add how much I want. And it's really it's like probably like a teaspoon. And then a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And that's pretty much it. But check out the description for what I say is my exact measurement. Now, I, you know my my uh my favorite form of measuring is dumpster taste. So, um, but you can taste it to see if you like it. All right, as you can see, it's to a bowl. It's not, we're not looking for a rolling bowl. Just, just where it got good enough where it's making a little bit of bubbles. Now what you wanna do is you wanna reduce the heat to about medium low. And then I just usually pull it over to the side and let it cool down a little bit. Now you don't want to add the cheese wise to the rolling bowl. You want to wait till it cools down a bit where it's not boiling. And then we're going to go ahead and add the cheese. And I'll bring you back once I get to that point. All right, welcome back. So now we're to the point where we can add the cheese in. So we're just going to add a little bit of cheese at a time while we stir. And you want to constantly, constantly be stirring. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what And just, you're just gonna put a little bit in there and stir, let it melt, let it incorporate, then a little bit more. But you wanna always keep stirring, do not stop stirring. Keep on 
monster. Monster. This is a creamy sauce, though. I don't like uh, that those baked mac and cheeses where it's like real hard and stuff. What's the point of this? What's the point of that? Come on, boy. Give me some, give me some good old mac and cheese, some creamy mac and cheese. That's what we're going to make today. Not none of that grandma field mac and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Not grandma. Look at that cream sauce. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the noodles back in that big old bowl that I had, got a little bit of cheese in, and we're gonna re we're gonna incorporate it all together. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so I put my noodles back in the big old bowl. Now I'm gonna bring the sauce over here and we're gonna pour it. So just gonna pour it over and fold it in. We'll get all those noodles incorporate it in and this is like I said this is a creamy sauce this ain't your this ain't your mama's this ain't your mama's brick recipe you know where it comes out like bricks this is a creamy mac and cheese just gonna fold that in and I'll show you what it looks like once I once I get it all incorporated in but you can see right now these cavitappy noodles you know Cause I cook them to al dente. You want to make sure that you cook them to al dente because then they will suck up all the um, sauce inside the noodles. And then if you want to use large elbow mat, you could do that too. You use whatever you want. This is your recipe, but this is what I do. And then once I have it all incorporated in, where it's just like pure deliciousness, man. This is pure deliciousness. Now this might not be good for you. But it's gonna taste dang good. I'm gonna tell you that much now. So uh, let me show you what this dang good creamy mac and cheese look like. Oh yeah, boy. Yes, yeah, son. Look at that. Look at this nice one. creamy mac and cheese. All right. So now let's go ahead and put it in the container that we're gonna put into the oven, which by the way, I have the oven already preset to 400 degrees to make this video a little bit faster. All right guys, so since I'm making half the recipe, this is what I'm gonna use. Let me show you what I usually use if I'm making the entire recipe, which is in the description of this video. I use one of these pans. This is what I usually use if I'm making the entire recipe. But since I'm just doing a portion of this recipe this will be just fine so let's go ahead and let's put this mixture inside here get all that deliciousness down in there oh my god this is so good this is gonna be this will be so good not good for you but it's good <clears throat> let me show you let me show you gotta get all that all that down in there Look at that, look at that. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Beautimous, beautimous. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> now we got that. Now, start on the show, bacon. Now, you don't have to put bacon on yours. I like putting bacon on mine instead of breadcrumbs. Some people use breadcrumbs. I use bacon. So, I just, this is about six to eight pieces of a bacon that I chopped up and I just spread it all over. Spread the wealth. That's what we're going to do. This is the holiday season. We got to give back. So we got to give back this macaroni and cheese too. So we just what we're going to do is we just going to spread the wealth and spread it all over the season of giving. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look at that. Look at this. If you want to die, you ain't gonna wanna eat this. I'm gonna tell you that much now. Ain't no diets around here right now. Now we got that. Now we're gonna put our cheese that we have on the side that we already pre grated on top. Yeah. You can never have enough cheese, I don't think. Who thinks that you can have enough cheese? I mean, Jesus. This is the cheesy dish, right? This is the whole point of it. 
So we're gonna make this dish cheesy. And basically, once I get done doing this, then I'm gonna put it in the oven that I already preset. And basically, what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna let this um, go until it starts bubbling. And and it's usually about 15 minutes, but you just gotta monitor it. And so, as you can see, look at this amazing, amazing dish you guys already. Now, let's go ahead and stick it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like whenever it's done. All right guys, so it's ready. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. So as you can see, you see how it's bubbling on the edges? That's done. And it's nice and brown on top. Time to pull this bad boy out. Let's do it. All right guys, as you can see, it's done. <clears throat> it's nice and brown, bubbly. Let me get, let me, can't pick it up it's super freaking hot of course but so safety first but let me go ahead and, and give you a close-up on what this nice dish looks like all right guys so you see that this nice looking deliciousness mac and cheese oh boy like i said not good for you but it tastes really really good and it's good around the holidays so this is something you can take to help people uh, have a better New Year's resolution. <laughs> but either way, it's really good. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, guys, so I wanna show you what it's gonna look like whenever you dig into this nice. Oh, look at this. Look at all this cream in this. You're digging into this creamy. Oh my God, look at that. Oh yes. Man, this is good. I'll tell you right now. Ain't no dang better mac and cheese than this one here. And I'll stand by that. This is this is the best. Maybe not the best for you, but I don't know any mac and cheese it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and taste test this. Alright guys, so here's a nice look of deliciousness. Look at this. Look how creamy it is. Now let's go ahead and taste it. I don't even know why. Mm. Man, this this is by far the best. Oh my god, look at look at this cheese, man. Man. This ain't your mama's mac and cheese. <laughs> this is Uncle Matt's recipe. And this is good. This is some good mac and cheese. Let me tell you that much now. You won't have to go on a diet after. New Year's or whenever you eat this recipe. Mmm. It's super good, guys. And I'm not, I'm not making it up. You have to make it for yourself. And if you make it, please tag me at Popeye's Cheese and Kitchen. Please let me know. You can follow me on IG, too. You know, uh, whatever works for you. I'm on there, too. Popeye's Cheese and Kitchen. Mmm. Super good, guys. So with that, you guys, you know, I hope you enjoyed this um, this mac and cheese dish. And like I said before, if you do enjoy it, please tag me at Popeye's Cheese and Kitchen. You can even follow me on IG, which is the same thing, Popeye's Cheese and Kitchen. Um, and this is, uh, I hope you guys have a great holiday. You know, it's about being around your family, being around your friends, those that do this all the time but this is a very special time of the year no matter what you celebrate this is this is a great holiday season so with that you guys cheers i hope you guys 